Leslie says, how about when a man ghosts you? Well, if he ghosts you, just move on. That, it's one of the reasons why you should be dating in abundance, right? You want to date in abundance and you want to look at a man's words. You want to look at his actions. You want to make sure they're in alignment. And then you want to see consistency over time. And so if you do that, Leslie, then if he ghosts you at some point, you're going to see that behavior and you'll be like, okay, that's what's happening with him. I'm not getting overly invested. I'm not getting caught up in just dating him. I'm dating in abundance. I'm dating other people. And he ghosts me and that's fine because I'm dating other people and I'm not overly invested in him. The problem is when you're overly invested in somebody and then all of a sudden they ghost you. And sometimes there's no, you can't do everything about somebody doing that, right? Because people will like, you know, maybe he proves himself to you over some time and then eventually you fall for him and then he ghosts you and, and it can happen, right? It happens all the time. It happens just all the time with men and women, right? Women do it actually more, ghost more than men do. It, they've shown studies on this and they found that women ghost 150% more than men do. And so it's one of those things, right? It happens, but you want to make sure that you're putting yourself into the best situation that you possibly can by dating in abundance. That's, that's why I created this system, Leslie, the forever woman system. I created that system because uh, I, I want to give you, I took all the patterns, right? What are the patterns that women use that get into great relationships, that find the man of their dreams, that end up getting uh, in a relationship where they're loved and they're seen and they're cherished by a great high quality man? And what are the ones that they don't? And I, I looked at the different patterns that women used over hundreds of thousands of women. And I said, okay, these are the patterns that work. And these are the patterns that don't work. If you want a system that works, if you want to put yourself in the highest probability of getting into the relationship that you want to have, you need to make sure you're doing certain things like dating in abundance, like not overly investing in a guy, like making sure that you're connecting with a guy's emotions so that when he, uh, when he does connect with you, he feels like he really likes you and he wants to be around you more, right? Like giving him space so that he can invest in you and he can connect with you, like changing the way that you think about men and dating and relationships. And instead of focusing on some dude and going, Oh, I got to get this guy to like me and I want him to love me. Why doesn't he love me? Right. Instead of doing that, Instead, you look and you say, hey, this is the relationship that I want. And a guy's got to take me to this relationship. If a guy's not taking me there, then he's disqualifying himself as a potential partner. He's disqualified. He's not allowed to be a partner anymore because he's not taking me where I want to go. And that saves you a lot of heartbreak. It saves you a lot of pain. It saves you getting into the wrong situations over and over and over again. And it makes sure that you get into a great situation where you're valued and you're seen and you're cherished by a high quality guy. Does that make sense there?